Hi, I'm Jim McCutcheon, a core volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. Today we're going to talk about circular saws, how to use them, the different types of them. What's become very, very popular on the work site is battery operated tools. And today I'm going to show you about a battery operated circular saw. Um, circular saw, you know, typically you use to cut wood like this. But depending on what you're cutting and what your needs are, you also have a couple of options here. Uh, typically, this would be an, a 90 degree cut, but there's also a bevel opportunity on this saw that if you needed to cut a bevel this way, if you don't have a chop saw, you can use your circular saw. The other thing is when you cut is to make sure that you have enough blade to cut through the wood that you're cutting. But you also, when you go to thinner material, you can adjust the, the depth so that your, your blade is not dragging so much through the wood. So adjusting the depth and the bevel are two of the adjustment options. The other thing is, like all power equipment these days, there's a safety. You, you move your safety out of the way before you pull the trigger. So let me adjust the blade. Put in my battery. And I'm going to cut this two by four. So let me just make a mark. And on this saw, you'll see there's a guide for your that matches your saw blade. So when I want to cut along this line, I can put that guide right in front of my mark and, and move my blade up close. I start the blade spinning before I touch the wood and then just move it along your, your cut line. So here we go. And there we have a cut. Another typical cut that you might see with a circular saw is we have a piece of OSB or plywood and you want to make a cut. So say this, this is my cut line and I'm going to cut across the table. You make sure your work's supported so that when you cut it, this board does not move. And in this case, I'm not holding this, I'm putting both hands on the saw so I can start it. You can see my cut line and my guide for my saw blade. And then you just cut. So those are a couple of different cuts. You know, we covered a lot of stuff about this saw, and if you don't remember some detail of it or you just don't understand, just ask one of us. And we want to make sure you understand so that you're comfortable so that you can work safe. So with that said, I'll see you on the job site.